man. That's crazy. You don't believe that I'm good at Call of Duty? That's actually kind of upsetting, bro. Before I was a Fire Emblem player, I was definitely a COD player. Damn. What? Bro, I bet we get at least round 30 on our first attempt today. Ew, I don't hear anything. Maybe I'll keep on Anderon Saga music. Fuck it. Let Mangs copyright me. You can only exceed your expectations. So as long as we set the bar at zero, it only gets better, right? So what's your knowledge on COD Zombies? That's the real question. Everything's running okay. I really didn't expect to be streaming like this. Music is a bit loud now. Alright, let me know if that's good now. Bro, it's Ahmad's song. Ahmad the skeleton is coming in to win. So my first goal is 20. Like that's that's really the goal is to hit 20 today. Why can I hear oh it's the Because if we can hit 20, I feel like overall we'd be pretty good. Because the world record for Call of the Dead is 105. Hence why there's a 109 on the screen, but that's like months away. Also, I haven't even, I haven't played this map since like, I don't know. Wait, is it knife? I forgot. Hold on. No, yeah, we're just screwed. All right. So anyways, if you have any questions, yeah, I don't really know what else to say during zombies, bro. It's just mine dead. And I like press buttons, you know, you feel me? I haven't looked into any of the high round strats, so I'm just kind of going free balling into this. Yeah, dude, help me get a W, because I have like absolutely no. Ooh, you're popping up over there again. Yeah, no, I have no idea what I'm doing, bro. That's why I was telling you, bro, you should do it. You should do it. But you were all like, no, I have a life. And I was like, well, that's a fucking hell. Ooh, mouse and keyboard on this is a little weird. Round one. Only 108 more rounds to go. Yeah, bro, who needs who needs who needs copyrightable Call of Duty music? We have fan-made music. That's all I'm saying, man. Oh, I'm so done. <laughs> Woo! Expectations are high. Oh, no. I forgot that his hammer slows. All right. Okay. Hold on. This is bad. The sickle Asa. Nah, my life will be on hold for Call of the Dead. Yeah, dude, just buy Black Ops, man. 
It's only like 10 bucks. Actually, I can't believe Black Ops is still 60 bucks, but I got... This is actually technically my first PC game. I don't even remember where the sickle is. Bro, where's the sickle? Dude, it's been so long. But no, like, so this was my first PC, or my, my second or first PC game. I actually had the original disc, and it gave a Steam code, and that Steam code wasn't locked behind any type of, uh, uh, like, what's it called? So I ended up distributing it between a couple of my friends, and I think one disc gave us, like, six Steam codes, and it was kind of nasty. I wish I still had the Steam code, though, honestly, because it was kind of banger, honestly. I'm wondering if they still have, like, no limitations on that. Alright, so if I kill George, don't I get, like, what do you call it? I get a perk every time we kill him? So we definitely want to kill him. Oh, is that, like, still a thing? Okay, I think this door is sticky. Nice. Yeah, I was never good at this map. Out of like, every COD map, honestly, Call of the Dead and Shangri-La was probably my worst maps. Overall, definitely. It's like the last zombie, bro. It's round two. But I think we got this. So, bruh. Am I? Dude, what's going on? I'm tripping. Game bugged? Game bugged? No, there we go. Holy crap. Alright, so we have enough for the MPL, but I don't want the MPL, so we're going to go ahead and pick up the M14. Yeah, the gu how guns actually should be. Dude, whatever happened to having, like, awesome things? Yeah, I, I have a, I have the the streams over on YouTube now. I, I ended up getting it working. I just used a different uh, what's it called? A different thing. Ooh, double points. Can't complain. Oh, there's no tech reload. That's rough. I have to get used to that. I've been playing uh, Black Ops Six so much that I'm used to being able to run and reload. So, like, not being able to run and reload is honestly probably going to be, like, the death of me. Also, not having the slide, dude, that's going to be tough. Dude, we've been spoiled with zombies recently. Like, honestly, like, having, having like, 17 hits till you're down. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I just, I need to figure out how I'm going to do this YouTube chat. Because, like, the correct way, sadly. I failed as a streamer, guys. I failed. All right, it's round three. Guys, I've made progress. So we need power. And I think Jug is at the bottom of the ship. So our first goal is power. Power, then what we want to do after power is definitely get Jug. And then I kind of want the Scavenger because if we get the Scavenger, we can start using that every max ammo for George. But I don't think, like, I want to use Mustang and Sally, but it's kind of bad. And I think I'm just going to skip out on Quick Revive. Like, let's just screw it, bro. If I get down, I just get the practice instead. Me, me trying to be good at the video game. Let's go. Yeah, I don't. Right. Ugh. There's a lot of spawns on the ship, so I gotta be really careful. Ooh, I'm so bad at aiming. Chill. No, I don't want that, though. Ooh, I do want that. Jeez, bro. Spooky. And we have barriers. I'm not used to any of this. Ooh, baby. Oh, 
I wonder what song next from Andron Saga is gonna play. Ooh, hello there, big boy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get the uh we're gonna we're gonna not open the bottom lighthouse door so we can drain down there. I'm gonna presume that's the way to go. I mean I'm or I could like maybe try to pass out. What's your personal best? Uh, this is actually my first time returning to Black Ops 1 since like 2014. So we'll just go with like the rifled answer of zero or something. Welcome to the streaming, Xeno. It'll be all right. Yeah, it's been a minute, but I, uh, wait, pack is already up. I thought you had to do something for pack, but I guess not. Yeah, no, it's I, I actually was playing. Um, what's it called? The new Black Ops six. And I was like, dude, this is like really fun. And then I was like, you know what? It's time. Oh, boy. Uh, it's time to get into, uh, what do you call it? Back into Black Ops 1. Because, like, I really miss the old style of zombies about how horror aspect it was. And then on top of that, like, the difficulty is way harder, at least from what I remember. Because two hits is way, 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 way. Ooh, you know what? All right, this is good. Not having a mini map to cheese. But yeah, no, I, I'm 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 excited. I think my like my goal, hopefully, is round fifty. But honestly, I have no idea. Without special zombies and the alike, I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna be honest. All right, that was some solid damage on George. We only need, I think, it's like three death machines solo to kill him, which means we did some really good damage right there. All right, uh. Though, I can say the sensitivity on Black Ops 1 is definitely a little bit weird. I'm not... What's the word? I'm not used to it. It feels like my camera keeps getting flipped over when I try to do faster movements. And I already have the sensitivity at, like, the lowest possible setting. Hold on. Uh, look. Like, it's, it's just insanely low. And it just feels like the sensitivity just always feels off. I don't know what it is. Do -do -do. Uh, all right. Um. Ooh, my favorite gun. Oh, sorry. That this is a refresher breath there, dude. We need proper MP40. Hold on. I need to like. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. Um. All right. Sorry. I had to turn my mic volume up all right we're gonna get we're gonna get that mp40 though all right hold on we don't need this for now i gotta hear them good old ticks of the mp40 i'm sorry dude the mp40 was one of my favorite weapons in all of cod like bro you literally can't go any time without the mp40 mp40 and original cod was so awesome Man. Anyways, so by the way, Wolf, is the mic set up okay? I'm a little worried about it because, like, I know we had some issues. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I got a little worried there. So what what was that? We went all this time without perks and then it's just like, hello. Any, any issues? Okay, cool. I didn't I didn't do any type of setup, so I was just kind of worried. Also, the stream was kind of last minute, but dude, the thumbnail that I came up and cooked with, now that was fire, dude. Oh, I didn't want to grab that. Well, I guess I can't really use this one for George. Oh, man, this is going to be rough to get out of, isn't it? You're not going to switch over to YouTube, by the way, Wolf. 
Oh boy. See, like right there, I just got flipped around. Why? All right. Jug. Okay, so there's our first step. We now have four hits. Now I don't need to worry as much about death. Now we just need to rack up a bunch of points so I can go hit box, pack, and stuff like that. And then outside of that, I mean, like, we're rocking now. All right, I've lost interest. Back to Andoran Saga music. Do, 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 do. We'll need to get some better, like, GBA soundtracks. I've always wanted to make a really good soundtrack, like, of all my favorite GBA stuff, uh, and try to put them in. Like, there's some, there's some uh, really, really, really solid uh, OST remasters from FE4 too, which is pretty based. I, dude, there's like a desert theme from FE4 that's awesome as can be. Dude, damn, look at that. Look at that sharp shooting. Didn't even piss George off. That is vibrating. All right, cool. Uh, okay, so that's step one, Juggernaut. That's about it. Where's Box? We got Meal Kick? Aw, oh, yeah. All right. All right. Ravioli, Ravioli, you're going to give me the scavenger only right here. Watch and learn, gamers. Yeah, that's the scavenger. We're good. That's the scavenger. You guys, you guys see no issue here. That's definitely a scavenger. That's like a weird box bug, though. The big pew pew. I'm not the biggest fan of like, honestly, I'm a little. Oh, we need to make our way around. No, we need to. What what has, what has to happen is, is like the scavengers, a sniper rifle that goes Q and then blows up massively big. It's a it's a really powerful weapon. And uh, what do you call it? It's it's good for damaging that big guy up there. And then on top of that, uh, ooh, I probably shouldn't be paying attention. Music's a little loud. Holy crap. But uh, what do you call it? Um, no, the scavenger is a really solid weapon overall. And then on top of that, like it's just big damage. And I, if I cycle between that and a packed weapon, I should be able to get some really solid rounds out of just that. Like, I'm not going for anything crazy today. So we should be all right. Yes, sir. Where's the sickle on this map? I don't even remember. That's two hits. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot that doesn't connect. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Oof. All right. That's back to spawn. I actually think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up quick revive, stamina up in PH flopper. And you might be like, Irish, you said no quick revive anymore. Well, I'm a big bitch and I don't want to have to reset. At least yet. Do you walk faster, man? I need points. I wonder if that's what every like high round zombies player is like. They just sit down and they're like, yeah, we need more points. Point. All right. Delicious, delicious coffee. All right. Uh, probably should start trading up low on ammo on the MP40. These are pretty uh, 
inaccurate. We could probably make them work. Aw, yeah. Let's go. Dude, this makes me want to go play Ascension. I wish I had four people to play Ascension with, dude. Ooh, Ascension's such a good map. Oh, man. Who doesn't love Ascension? Oh. Oh, look at them good old... Oh, God! I forgot that training in this game is a little more dangerous. Dude, the zombies, like, suck you in. Not as bad as the World at War zombie. Now, they... They're rough. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We want to try to finish the round. That's huge. That's peak points right there. Let's go. Juicy. Oh, the original MPK5. Ugh. The MP40, 10 times better, man. All right, so we go down here. There's the beautiful perk of PH Flopper. You can buy the door. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do myself a favor. We're going to go to controls. Look, I'm going to turn this down just a bit. Oh, I guess that feels way better, bro. I had to turn the sensitivity in this game all the way down to make it feel acceptable. That's I don't know how I feel about that. I just hope I like I don't I don't know if it's because like the flicks that are causing me to get turned around or what. I don't remember where stamina up is. I think it's through there. Hey, that wasn't cool. Ooh, stairs, no catch. Nice, look at us go. And it's already round 10 and they're all running crazy, bro. Relax. Another double points. Wow, I just got an achievement on Steam. That's great, guys. Look at that. Pro gaming. Man, I remember back when I was a kid and I thought, like, getting 20k points was a miraculous feat. Look at me now. We're almost there, dude. We're rich. I don't know if that actually does damage. I'm going to be honest. Uh, all right. I feel like that's more than enough for this round. Yeah. That stupid electric and that slow is definitely going to get me killed. 100%. So as long as I leave that door open in there, I should be fine. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just can't get that guy pissed. That'll be like the worst thing I can do. Probably try to keep up in this open area. There's so many tight corners that I'm going to end up like having to be careful about. I think that's the whole horde. I almost got caught in there. Oh, I thought I angered him. Woo, baby. All right. Oh, boy.
Okay, uh, we need to save one zombie, so his arm's broken, but that should work. Buy this. Uh, we need to go hit box a couple times. That way I can get, um, what do you call it? I really need that scavenger. I just hope we get it in the first couple of hits because I would really not. I don't want to get um, that, what do you call it? I don't want to get fire sail in the mix. That would be really bad. Fire sail ruins my whole strats for the map. Ooh, can I get, make a crawler? That's not good. That's not good. No, I don't want the double dual pistols. No. no. I don't want this either. This does calm George down, though. I might actually keep it. That's fine. Hey, what's up, Belk? Long time no see. I normally don't stream on Twitch. It's weird. All right, go get him. Okay, we need to find... What's it called now? I need to get my hands on stamina. So I have that base move speed buff. After that, we'll just be chilling. How's your day going, Val? What have you been up to recently? I know that did you lose your like 200 day streak on Final Fantasy? That was kind of impressive. No, 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 that wasn't just kind of impressive. That was definitely impressive. back from an ad Ugh. I was asking if you lost your giant um, Final Fantasy streak you aren't you on like day 200 or something ridiculous not gonna that's crazy <laughs> It is pretty it is pretty impressive how uh, how much time you've put into that. Like it blows my mind. I gotta give like that's just props right there. Like I think I think it's honestly insane how many days in a row. I could never. More power to you though. Like maybe one day I'll go back to Final Fantasy. I think we can actually play a little risky. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, what do you call it? We need to go find stamina. Did something silly too. That's good. What's, uh, what's the silly, the big sill? All right. Uh, I don't think it's needed to open this, but I have all the points. So I mean, like, why not at this point? No, oh, I didn't need that door. Four slash five to twelve. What do you mean by that? I'm a little confused. Is stamina up down here? I'm going to presume because that's the pack location. Wait. Oh, no, there it is. The saving grace. Hallelujah. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. I think that like one of the Easter egg steps is in here. And now that I'm playing Black Ops 1, I'm going to have to, like, go and get all of the Easter egg stuff. Oh, coffee is so good. All right, it's time to change up the music. Uh, let's see. My character's... Uh, Oh, higher to hurrah. How are you enjoying the Fantasia? Uh, 
I haven't really been keeping up with any type of real news for it. So like, what's the word? I've been kind of behind on every, like all things news wise and that it's a, it's, it's a shame, but like I can only do so much. And honestly, MMOs just haven't been on my forefront to actually do. Uh, let's see. Hold on one second. I want to mix. Here we go. Then I remember running into zombies. So much my control is permanent stick drift. Yeah, man. I, uh, I'm getting back into it. I, I, I was playing Black Ops 6 pretty religiously when it came out, and I was having so much fun, and I just kind of was like, yup, it's time. So, I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things, and we aren't getting speed. I just realized that this is going to be a really weird thing, but, like, do I really need speed if I plan on abusing some of my other stuff. This is like a really big pit of water. Um, so box, I think pack is in the ship then. I'm gonna go ahead and actually pack my gun. No, I'm not. I wanna make sure we have a lot of points before we pack. We should probably pack around like 20. How are you doing by the way, Tom? I saw somebody talking about that, too. The free Fanta, which is pretty all right. I'm going to be pretty impressed if I hit 30 this game. My goal is to hit 50 today, but I'm going to be honest. I genuinely don't think it's going to happen. It's a limited time, though. Yeah, I'm not spending 15 bucks on a game that I'll play for five minutes. I really, like, I really kind of, like, and I got into a little bit of an old-school RuneScape grind. And I know it sounds really weird because I used to shit on that game constantly for being a cookie clicker. But it's like, I actually found myself really enjoying it because it was like, oh, hey, I can go and play something very action-y, watch something, and also grind. And on top of that, like the Iron Man status of uh, old school RuneScape, ooh, that's peak. I love that, man. Like, I think I think that they, like, because they did that, I thought it was awesome. But that's only because I'm a masochist. I think the Grand Exchange in RuneScape really ruined the whole thing. Everyone in the chat, like, what the fuck is this guy blabbing about? Rose not even talking about COD. You can get five. Okay, but are they like limited time Fantas or what's it called? Do you get to keep them no matter what? That's kind of impressive. I'm surprised they did that. That sounds like a, it sounds like a marketing tactic. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like a marketing tactic to get uh, people like, who yes, dude, we gotta switch our characters every three days. The next thing you know, people are like buying Fantasias every three seconds. That's exactly what that sounds like to me. Like that genuinely sounds like a really fun marketing strat. Oh, dude, I didn't get that ammo on that last fucking reload. That's ridiculous. Zombie Slayer 3R6. Yo, what's up? Why does that name seem so familiar? Yeah, I've been, I've been, I'm so glad. The name seems really familiar. I'm not going to lie, but hey, it's okay. 360 era days, man. 
I'm doing all right. I uh, I fell into the loophole of like getting really, really and falling in love with uh, some good old black up six zombies. And I was like, dude, it's back, bro. And then I was like, I fell down the rabbit hole of watching like hour long documentaries from this guy. I, I don't know what his thing was, but he does hour long documentaries of uh, high round attempts and stuff. And I just fell into the loop of listening to him while I was uh, at work. And I was like, I'm going to do it. If I could do like, you know, 40 back when I was a kid, there's no reason I can go uh, get any, you know, like higher than that. Right. So it's like. And then I realized that the only map that has like less people on it was called the dead. And apparently 109 is theoretically possible if you do all the strats. So I was like, yes. Oh, no. Yeah, I, uh, I I love zombies, dude. It's it's one of the few games that I like alongside games like Pokemon and Fire Emblem and stuff. This was my jam, dude. Fucking get out of get out of middle school right on the uh, right on the 360. Man, I remember I remember when Ascension first came out and I had it pre-ordered. I used my I, I literally did, I think, the neighbor's grass to get the 20 bucks. And this is back when, like, you didn't have credit cards. You didn't have access to credit cards as well uh, while I was a kid. But like you had to go buy the game cards at the gas station. Man, I remember those days. And uh, I put it in and Ascension took like two and a half hours to download and i didn't even get to play it on the first day because my parents got pissed because i didn't do the dishes that night bro i literally sat there and watched the bar but man i'm not i'm not really brushed up on the cod lore i'm gonna be real my cod lore is big big drunkards go on a killing rampage I used to be really deep into it, but like as the years kind of went by, I just kind of slowly forgot everything about it. It's so nice being able to pause. Yeah, I don't really I didn't really do too much research into any of the strats in this specific map. So we're going to kind of winging it. But if we wing it and do well, why didn't my playlist keep going? Stop. I'm just waiting for one of my Fire Emblem viewers to show up and be like, bro, you're a fake Fire Emblem fan. You haven't even played that. I'll be like, you're right, you're right. I haven't played Fire Emblem 4. I'm cringe. Yeah, so how long have you been playing zombies? And what was your, like, kind of first experience? Oh, no, he's here. He's here. I'm going to get yelled at. Oh, no, gamers. I'm in trouble. Wolf Toad. I'm not a fake Fire Emblem player. GBA Fire Emblem is literally peak. I literally make videos that do better than... Some creators with more subs. I don't understand, bro. If I if my low tier editing can get a thousand views about talking about Mia's armpits, I don't see any issue here. You're crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we're good. Woo. Dude, thirteen years ago in town. Whoa, 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 whoa. Third, that doesn't make any sense. When did Black Ops 1 come out? I thought I I, I could have sworn I got because like I got. <laughs> I don't remember getting online until I was in like sixth or seventh grade. And then I didn't I don't think I got Black Ops until at least 2013. And that's only 10 years ago. There's no way that Black Ops released any earlier than 2010. Am I that old? I am that old. Yeah, bro, we're reminiscing from a time from long past. It'd be like that, though. 2012? Holy shit. Bro, 
remembering math equation remembering 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 math equations for uh what do you call it oh you need to like move bro oh it ran to the nope yeah oh, that was bad That was actually really, really bad. Ooh, he's still pissed, and I have a death mission. I'm so dead. I'm so fucked. Oh, boy. Oh, this is bad. 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 Stop. I need to at least hit 20. Please run out. Please run out. Please run out. <laughs> All right, that's bad. I now it's my last quick revive. Can I go up? No, this game doesn't have that stupid verticality. I forgot. No. Fuck, man. That could have been really bad. This is my last quick revive. I better just, you know what? Yoink. Oh, this game makes me pick the gun back up, right? Early a zombie's memory. I was, pr I was at, why is my music not auto playing on YouTube? Hold on. My early a zombie's memory definitely, definitely. What's going on? Right, we'll just switch up this, this. So my earliest zombies memory probably was I didn't even own the game. I was at my family friend's uh, Christmas party, I think it was. And Kino Dirt Toten was the map that the other kids were playing, and I was like, what the heck is this? You know, because, like, you see it, and you're like, I don't know what this is. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I knew you'd enjoy it. This, this, this YouTube channel isn't monetized, so we can, we can play whatever music we want. It's as simple as that. This used to be a Pokemon channel, so it's kind of weird. But we're doing our. Bro, this gun sounds fun. I want to be E. Cola. Yeah, dude. I I love Octopath. Yeah, what it, you know what's crazy is that you can you can bring up any of the Octopath music and be like banger, bro. I think almost every single track in Octopath is truly a banger. It just has good music. There's literally like no what's it called no contest man it's just great I love Octopath Hikari yeah Hikari's one is Hikari has probably the most anime ending out of all of them um Oswald I loved his entire thing like, I wasn't too much of a fan of the scholar in prison at the start. And my buddy uh, Gangster was talking about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get I get I see, I see, you know. And uh, I fell in love with Oswald's story. And then, like, 
almost every story that I did almost just kind of put a, like a small tear in my eye, man. Like I, I don't know what it was about it, but I think that like overall, the, the game just it's so well. Oh fuck! Hold on. Okay, we're good. Woo, baby! Yeah, fuck you. Get a grenade. Oh, fuck. Oh, we pissed him off. Uh-oh. Yeah, no. I did, like, act up as it, like, once I hit, I think it was, like, I had most of the stories done. There was a point where I did decide that it was, like, in my best interest to... What's the word? I got really pissed about it. I had to I had to start using the fast forward. I played the entire first playthrough, not with almost like 90% without fast forward. But once I hit like two or three people left on the list to do, I was so just done with playing. Like the combat sadly gets stale after eight hours or 80 hours. That's like my only gripe. But I mean, like I also played that game from like start to finish within like a month. I I pretty much like consume that game faster than an OnlyFans girl would consume cock. Well, I'm allowed to make those jokes, right? One of my favorite songs though in the entire game is definitely Agnia's song. It's fire. Oh, I guess I'm weird like that. I got a 70 inch TV and I used it as like the relaxing game. I didn't play it in my office because normally when I'm in my office, everything I do is like recently when I was doing my Fire Emblem channel, everything when I sat down at my PC was work. So I changed up how I did things and I made sure that when I was relaxing, I would play games in my bedroom instead of my office. Because um, like when I when I stream, I treat it as work. Especially when it comes to Fire Emblem, because it's not like as much as I want to say that I was a casual, a casual content creator. I was still trying to make it like a business. It was a whole mindset thing. But anyways, no, no, no. But like, I absolutely like think that like it's just it was a really fun game overall. Though, I don't know how much I vibe with Agnia's story. It felt like everybody else had such high stakes going on within their stories. Agnia's story, like, I know you said you didn't finish it, so I'm not going to, like, talk too much on it. But everyone in the entire party had something they were fighting for or someone who they were fighting, you know, you know, for who or, like, a world-changing type of event. For, like, example, like, Particio... And then Agnia is just like, hey, look at me. I'm a pretty dancer from a country village. And it's like, to me, like as much as I loved it, it was just a little bit out of touch. I might be in trouble. Nah, we played that well. Let's go. It was like a side character. But like, but then again, when you put her story into context, the only, like, I guess maybe if you would have made, like, if they would have made more chant. Oh, you haven't finished it. I can't say that. Um, when you finish it, I'll, I'll, I'll go on. But overall, no, she does. She just feels out of place in the main cast. Maybe like if they gave her more interactions with the party and they kept her as like, the emotional therapy character, because that would have fit her really well. Like, you know, Oswald is going through some shit and she has a conversation and it cheers him up or, you know, stuff like that. I feel like would have actually fit Agnia way better because her whole goal is to make people happy and not like, I don't know, because like that's even harder to write than what she is, you know, like, whew.
Oh, I hear that violin. I need to get rid of this gun. This gun's going to get me killed. I keep thinking of it as a safety for using it near George, but every time I use it, I fuck up and almost die. I think this is like the best train spot, too. I mean, I feel like I could probably... Ooh, I'm dead. I am goaded. That is... Ooh! Okay, uh, we can jump down here and go forward. This brings us back to the spawn room. I really don't need any more zombies spawning in front of me. I hope I didn't despawn too many. That would be really, really bad. Ah, uh, this is fine. I do think it's time to train. So are you doing like the whole crafting 80, gathering 80 too while you're at it? Okay, we need to like, okay, so. Okay, uh, we're gonna use the water as safe zone. Cause like, I should be able to train pretty well in the spawn. Spawns up there, up there. There's one over there and I think there's one in the ground. Yeah. Oof. Fuck. Okay. Spawn spawn training a little bit harder. No. Man, just chilling in Limsa Lanosa like a G. I get it. I get it. Flexing. We need to get a crawler this round, definitely. I need to reset up. I'm doing pretty bad. PvP and Island Sanctuary. I forgot that you like PvP. Would you still play PvP if there were actual stakes, though? That's the real question. I was just thinking about that. Like, a lot of people like Final Fantasy PvP, in my opinion, or from what I've seen, but like, would would you still play it if there was stakes? Like, if you, if you had to put a wager in, and then you could lose, like, items and stuff, would you still play it? Like, traditional what PvP normal. All right, we got to train this back up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Come on, babies. Let's go. Uh, holy moly. I think that's the whole horde. All right. Come on. We got to tighten this baby up. You know. I'm wondering if it's better off that I run through the shipyard when I piss George Romero off instead. Probably the better bet, honestly. Item cost? Interesting. I mean, I don't know, because like I, I never could get into PvP in Final Fantasy. But like, that's just me. I was not much, I'm like, I'm like not much of a PVP guy. Okay, I didn't save a zombie. George Romero's right there. His health bar is still super duper high. I'm an absolute failure as a zombie player. So we're gonna keep it. All right, we gotta keep trying, okay. Dude, you gotta be hecka rich with how much you play. Lend me some of that Final Fantasy XIV cash, though. I need, I need all the gill. Like, you need to send me, I don't know, 2,000. Oh, is our house still in order? Man, I owe you. I should, like, send you $15 on Steam. <laughs> I actually feel like I owe you for that. That's rough. 23 mil? Man, I thought you'd have maxed out Gil by now. I'm gonna be real. She's not a Gillionaire yet. L. Right, 
We need to grab that. Oh, I missed it like an absolute imbecile. I have money sitting in my account for a large house. I grinded the heck out of that, and I, I just never got to it. And I guess there's also a fear that, like, if I ever decide to just not play and I don't have somebody to always register the house, it's like losing a small house isn't that bad. You can get two mil with, like, a couple hours of market flipping, but, like, the 50 mil took me like it was like two or three months to slowly accrue. It's rough. Nah, it's just like a, it's a small fear, honestly. Oh, hello. Yeah, no, I gotta, I, I don't know. I like, it's just like, it's such a huge investment. And then some people casually can just own seven of them. Bruh. Oh, man. It removes the pillars. One day, I really hope that they add, like, guild halls or something. That would be fun. Something that's based off of actually using your free company. I really feel like free companies are super duper underutilized in there. Free companies are literally just an EXP buff for everybody, and I find it just kind of... What's the word? Um, almost kind of like... It's just not, like... It doesn't have any type of unique things to it, like a guild, like... Okay, so you level your free company up, you get a free company chest that's usually locked to your higher ups. Like, the free company is just kind of in. Eh. They really should make a some type of system and revamp it all. Small, small things like that really do matter. I missed the ammo buy, that's fine. I really need to get the scavenger. Whew. I missed it again? No way. That was be good. I think I think they should call it something different. I think that they should make a guild hall. So if you and your free company get X amount of resources, X amount of guild together you guys can build a free company hall or like a guild hall and then you can add and build stuff in your own guild and make you know don't make it something that's doable but not doable make it so you either have to grind hard spend a lot of fucking money you know like i just i don't know i've always wanted something crafting based that was guild centric I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Stop. We got like two more seconds. Oh, that was so close. Holy shiz on a biscuit. Yeah, like I think Guild Wars 2 has something similar, but I never really got into it. So I don't really know the mechanics and stuff in that game too well. I just always feel like when there's things that are based off of non-solo play that's almost impo like insanely impossible to do solo play because of how many requirements there are it definitely locks a lot of people out but at the same time i feel like it gives players that don't want to sit there and grind savages every week um access to something that they can do together because like i personally would much rather have a have a crafting based Thing from a guild than any type of savage, but it feels like that's like the only true endgame content outside getting, um, what do you call it, transmog. 
And sure, transmog is fun and all, but like after you make a couple outfits and let's be honest, 90% of the outfits are all based for females. So it's like a player like myself, who is a male that, you know, also plays a male character because I'm not weirdo. Uh, it just, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, what else? House skins? I guess. I don't know. I have I've really lost touch with Final Fantasy 14 because honestly like I, I definitely think I have a lot more fun when it comes down to, um, like, I definitely, definitely, definitely have more fun when it comes down to stuff with, hold on, why does the box disappear? That Loki kind of makes me super pissy. Bro, I thought you were supposed to see the box all the time. Bro, come on. Absolutely not. I'm not keeping this. Fuck it. It should be fine for a little bit. There's been a gremlin in the corner. <laughs> Understandable. Man, I have four viewers over on YouTube. Crazy. For once, we're actually doing something on YouTube that isn't this. Nice. Who's all here? Bro, say hello. What's up? What's up? We've hit round 21. Almost halfway to the goal. Sweet. I've been meaning to talk to my fiance about doing something with Final Fantasy again. But like right now we're in this kind of thing where we want to do Legos. All right, we need to reload and grab that. Not having speed cola is actually kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's good. We have, I think we have two big flower Lego sets that we need to do. I can't wait to put them back on stream. I haven't done Legos in so long. I'm pretty excited. I am so glad that that went off. I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous. Ooh, we should grab that. Oh, boy. That was such a stupid risk for no reason. And we get a death machine. Let's go. actually killed him let's go right yes and we got speed cola let's go baby i forgot oh when you lose uh you have a chance to get quick revive when you lose it because of that i forgot oh and now we don't have to deal with them for like a couple rounds that's what i'm talking about Yeah, dude, it's been forever. I can't wait. I can't wait for Christmas this year. I have a couple good presents for my fiance. I can't say, but I'm excited. I've been cooking this year. 
Fuck out of here. And how do people get past to like round 50 in like an hour, dude? I really should look up the strat. We're doing all right, though. The good old dick in a box. Yeah, dude, I just got like uh. so the goal was I just got like a big old, you know, ribbon tie. It's nice and red. Oh, man. I'm done. Yeah, well, like, to be fair, like, I did my Christmas shopping back a while ago. I found a sale and everybody's getting fucking stale chocolate in the family this year. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, and it's like, I, I'm so done. <laughs> All right, we've hit 22, baby. Let's go. We're making decent progress, I feel like. That's that's ha almost halfway to the goal. We got one quick revive. We've killed George Romero one time. Let's see if anybody's called or texted. My fiance, lovey dovey. Okay. An email notification from Twitch saying Wolf Toad subbed. Damn, bro, Wolf. Even 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 Twitch knows how, how powerful you are. Damn, bro. Alright. Do I wanna go do I wanna go down in the lighthouse and try to train down there? I almost think I want to. I wanna try it. It's just a big circle down there, and I think there's only two spawns. So I don't know if they spawn quicker down there, but like down here, there's several spawns. You got one here. I think there's one up here. They never come from the boat, thankfully. I'm that level 80 HP in the first. I'm going to be real. Xenoblade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to get that. That's fine, no. That's gotta be German, right? Mitch Duble. I fucking can't even pretend I know what they're saying. That definitely sounded German. I haven't looked it up, but that was my guess. The day somebody gets me to stream in Xenoblade is the day somebody actually pays my bills. Those games are insanely long. I should really not do dolphin diving. That's going to end up getting me killed. Especially after I killed George. Hell no. Nah. Freerin? Yeah, but the difference between Freerin and Agnia? Are you ready for this? Freerin's hot. Right? Like, we can, we can, we can definitely say that Freerin is a step above Agnia full on, right? Bro, average white people? Nah, 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 nah. No, no, no. Rearin, elf ears. Yeah, let's go. Oh, man. What? What? How, uh, how is she not hot, dude? What do you fuck? What? I don't even need fan art to tell you, bro. Bro, she's smug. She's a dick. 
She's what every man desires. You remember that scene where she pulls out the, the, the thing that dissolves the clothes? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know that. You know what? You know what? Now that you bring it up, if Freer is, I mean, there's a there's a scene in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon where the main characters are walking through the blizzard to escape. Uh, what do you call it? To escape the townspeople after they were chased out. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about here. I would hope. Do I want that? Every time I grab this. Yeah, we're going to grab it. Um, they're walking out of the town in the blizzard. For some reason, Freerin's name reminds me of that. Like a freezing wind is almost what it seems like. I wonder if that's why the author, like, if that's what the author did named her, because she is quite a cold individual. But it's interesting is because, like, Freerin is, her whole story is trying to learn how to take life at a faster pace to match those around her so she can experience her life with the people. And it just like, uh, I don't know, like to me, that's a, it, it's an interesting, uh, what's the word? It's a very interesting thing. Also, damn, Final Fantasy 13 music always goes hard. This is probably way riskier than it needed to be just to do chip damage to him. Igben Amthrian? How do I say that? It's time to pull you in a Discord call. Did I really just pull that max ammo? Dude, I'm a fu I'm fucking blind. I have a feeling we're going to get a max ammo and we're going to be packing the ray gun, so I'm going to go ahead and actually try to use like half the ray gun on George right now. My English is horrible. Dude, Saz is like one of my favorite characters. I love Saz. Dude, Saz should be an icon for the Final Fantasy franchise. Bro is literally one of the few characters in the Final Fantasy series that I like absolutely like love with a passion. Bro just wanted to save his boy, man. And he had a little chocobo and he had a harmonica. Dude, who could hate Saz? Like, honestly? Like, oh, he's the best thing to come out of Final Fantasy 13. I don't know. Hold on. I actually really like a lot of people hate it on 13 and people like use the criticism of, oh, it's a hallway simulator. Shut the fuck up, bro. Every, every game is essentially a hallway simulator. RJ. There's also one on YouTube. I guess here. Yeah, my my second I decided to I'm converting I have a third channel now. We now have ICC Survival. It was supposed to be ICC Zombies, but it didn't verify in time and I really wanted to play. Oh the lag. But yeah, I'm back in that Call of Duty swing thing. How you doing, RJ? We're just talking about Final Fantasy and how Saz is based. Do, 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 do. The heck was Kate Seth? I don't even know who the fuck that is. Bro, I have like such minimal amount of Final Fantasy knowledge, but I can say, I think like outside of a lot of the games, a lot of like Final Fantasy 1 has got to be actually one of my favorite games in my entire library now after finally, um, after playing through it. I think Final Fantasy 1 is a masterpiece. 
I genuinely think that Final Fantasy 1 is peak fucking turn-based combat, peak gameplay, peak story. And you might be like, Irish, what fucking story? You have like five lines of dialogue. It made me actually want to role play the characters that I had on my screen at the time, which is something I genuinely never do when games give me the options to characterize my characters. And I found myself role playing when I was going through a lot of the dungeons after like the first couple of areas. Dude, Final Fantasy one is just a peak. It's just peak video game. Guess it's just massive stuff. Moogle with a gray red robe with a gray red 13 on top. All I'm saying is Moogles were, are another amazing invention. Yeah, we're chilling, man. We're, I'm practicing because I want to try to go and get top 10 on the world record thing for COD Zombies on one of the maps. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever want to do a challenge run or anything like that. But I can tell you right now, if I ever go back and I ever play Final Fantasy 1, I would love to do a quad Black Mage run. I I had so much fun. I did like a standard party my first playthrough. I did uh, a warrior, which the warriors are like insanely broken. Dude, warriors in Final Fantasy 1 are like cracked out, dude. Like the thieves, like the thief would get good crits, but the warrior would just out damage everybody even if you had effective damage like it was like insane like sure the black mage probably out damages everybody because of the aoe damage and being able to hit things like that also being able to do like a pseudo support role but the warrior ended up just being such an insanely powerful character that like i like i was thinking like even if you had four warriors on your team that would probably be the easiest out of the four classes to win the game dude they just hit so fucking hard Oh man, maybe one day the only class better at the damage is the Grandmaster. Level thirty-three, Grandmaster is that the warrior level up? Because I remember in the middle of the game, there's this optional uh, you're, in the, uh, in the game you can level everybody up by going through uh, what do you call it? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta concentrate. I just want to make sure we do this safely. But like, so like in the middle of the game, you get to be Bahamut, which I'm going to be real. Bahamut helping you in Final Fantasy one was had to be the weirdest, most disconnected thing ever. Like, I'm going to be honest, like out of every character in the entire game that I was sitting there, I was like, what is the point of having Bahamut help you. You know what I mean? Like, it was just so... What's the word? It almost felt disconnected, honestly. Anyways. Alright, we're only four rounds away from the goal. We're doing pretty good. I think it's getting close to time to pack the ray gun, but what I would like to do is I'd like to wait till we get a max ammo so I can blow my load into Mr. George Romero. Because if I could, like, I would actually kind of low-key really, really, really like if we got, uh, what's it called? I would love, 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 love to get my hands on, uh, this is probably a really stupid idea. There's no way I actually got the kill here. Are you serious? I'm so fucked. There's no way that that actually got the kill. Holy crap. No fucking shot. Mule kick? Ooh, mule kick! Okay, we gotta save a crawler. I can't believe I got the kill there. I mean, I guess I only wasted like one ray gun into him. Dude, that's insane. I didn't realize bro would die so quick. Bro, so much for a fucking death machine. More like the point maker. This thing sucks.
I mean, I don't know, but like when it comes down to bosses and stuff, like, can you really like, what's the word I'm looking for here? Can you even be like, oh, it's a single point damage. Like it's good no matter how you view it, right? Cause like, I don't know. That's at least how I see it, you know? Cause like when you're, when you're facing normal mobs, yeah, single point damage might be a little rough. But eventually, like, you do so much extra damage that it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like you do so much. Like, you can wipe out hordes without really worrying about it. Also, don't forget to sub and like to this alternate channel. We will probably be streaming here a little bit more often. Because, yeah, Irish Coffee Cake went through a big mood swing and doesn't want to play Fire Emblem as much. I don't think there's actually any more perks. Oh no, there's double tap. We definitely want double tap on this map. All right, we need to make sure that these are the last zombies. This is not the last horde. I'm not gonna get that lucky, am I? Boo, boo. What is everybody's first experience with Final Fantasy? I think my first, like, my first experience overall with Final Fantasy was definitely getting my hands on Final Fantasy XII Platinum Edition for the PlayStation 2. That was my first Final Fantasy game. And I never finished it because the original game didn't actually save, as in, like, it didn't tell you where to um, go after you completed a lot of the quests, and it didn't keep a tracker. And my dumbass, being the ADHD gremlin I was being as a kid, I never actually thought of keeping track of every single thing in the game in, like, a notebook or, like, something I could put in the thing. L, 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 honestly, but it was pretty cool. Started with Final Fantasy 1. Well, RJ, you know what? You might be old, but you're fucking cool. You always show up. You're like Wolf Toad. You always show up to my stream, which is pretty based. Dragon Warrior 1. Isn't that like the precursor of Final Fantasy? I've always wanted to play, uh, what's the, oh, What's the one with time trap? Dragon Age, Dragon Age. Sorry, I, I was I was tripping out there. Dragon Age is also a, um, what is it? Well, I don't have sound on and I really don't want to screw up. 26. I hope there's zombie respawns here. I got to keep track of this, a Galil. I don't know what I want to try for. We need, I really want the scavenger. I got 78,000 points. I would love the scavenger. Please, pretty please. Oh yeah, ballistic knives. They need to bring this back, bro. I don't say eight, seven, sequel. You know, I still want to go through and play all the Final Fantasies. Fox is moving. Still don't see the last zombie. That's the M16 right there. Oh, fuck. Whoopsies. Anyways. All right. Box. Box. I have... N Is that on top of the lighthouse? Oh, they have dead shot in this? Fuck, I want double tap, not dead shot. Hold up. Stop, I don't want this. I mean, I have a lot of games that I want to finish, but it's like, sometimes I just get into this, like, what's it called? The routine of just like 
Hey, I really don't want to play it. You know what I mean? I'll see you later, Wolf Toad. Oh, there it is, baby. Uh, there's my sniper. It go chink, chink. Pew. Chink, chink. Pew. I don't even know if this is a one hit kill now, but this is what... Damn, I love this gun. Beautiful. Oh yeah, my sniper is dolphin diving. Oh, man, I'm pretty hungry too. All right, there we go. Oh, no way. Yo. You're kidding. This actually might just be the end. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's rough. We can come back. We can come back. I think we can come back. Okay, so that's Jug. We can't get quick revive. I'm going to get trapped here. Okay. This goes over to the lighthouse. We need to get PhD first, probably. This actually works really good. We'll get PhD. We'll get stamina up. That means I'm on my last life until we kill George and hopefully get what we want. And now we want to go down here. I think we get I think we get meal kick other than speed cola. I'm gonna be honest. Oh fuck. Nope. I ain't gonna get that. Shit. Mistakes have been made. I'm gonna be real, this is not looking too good. I don't even know where Meal Kick is. You know what? I want to grab Meal Kick because I want to go for the Scavenger again. I can't believe we just got the Scavenger and immediately lose it. Oh, Meal Kick is in the tip of the boat. Okay, okay, okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Not going to lie. That was... That was... It's the time. Man, now I gotta hit box a billion times too. One hit, two hit. Let's reload. Woo, baby! Alright, we're doing good. We're almost set back up. Chill, chill, chill. All right. That was, that was definitely almost the end there. So what was your highlights, RJ, with uh, Final Fantasy 1? Definitely, definitely a good question, because like, I know a lot of people have different likes in RPGs. Like, what, what do you rate it out of 10?
That didn't even reload. That's salty. Come on, baby. If I get the scavenger, that would be nice. At least then I can get back to beating up George. Maybe I'll get lucky and get like quick revive or something, but that's that's gonna require us killing him, respawning, and then hoping and praying that he gives quick revive since he's have so many. And I don't even know if that's how that works. Octopath music jump scare? Is it that loud? I'm sorry. Octopath music is a banger. We've been talking about it for like the last hour. Octopath is such a banger game. I think everybody should play it. I think that game should go back to having amazing graphics because 2.5D is literally just pixels, but better. I don't know. Actually, I kind of really like pixel games. Fire Emblem. Mm, you know, I don't know. I love their GBA art style. But nothing, nothing, nothing beats original sprite graphics. Sprite graphics are just so much better. It wasn't loud. I just scrolling heard it out of nowhere. He's like, damn, I know that song. It's from a banger. Yeah, it is, though. Like, you can't even argue, dude. Octopath is such a banger game. All right, so we get ammo. We got to go hit box. Oh, I almost bought that like an idiot. We need to hit. Why do I have so many crawlers? Hello? Am I live still? That was fucking awkward. That scared the shiz out of me. Uh, they changed my life for real great characters story music improved on the first game absolutely i still love the first game it's such a good thing i i like i was just talking about how like octopath is one of the first games that actually like put a tear in my eye as a gamer and it was just kind of weird because like i normally don't cry over small shit like that so it was like, uh, what's the word? Uh, it was just really nice. Sorry, I was just checking something. It's good. Uh, we need to put that up. Oh boy. <sighs> Yeah, no. Based, based game. If you ever had the, if you've had the pleasure of playing Octopath, you just know how good it is. It's as simple as that. <sighs> yeah, I want this, this weird looking gun. Great point gun, I guess. I don't want the Galil. Can I get the scavenger back, please? That would be really, 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 really... Holy cow. Talk about lots of bullets. Come on, scavenger. Come on, baby. I mean, I guess we could pack this. Or the AUG. I mean, I don't necessarily want to, though. I really want the scavenger. The scavenger would allow me to beat waves down really quickly. The FAMAS. Yeah, we haven't gotten this gun yet. This gun is such a weird gun. I like it though. Bah. Um, can I fall here and live? Oh, I don't even know if I can use... Why isn't it letting me use the zip line though? Alright, so where's Box? Behind the lighthouse. All right, that works.
do 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 I wonder if I could train down here. That's three directions they come. See, I kind of want to try to get in there, but I don't know if there's like a proper way. Oh, this gun's actually not bad. Fire rate at least. No recoil. There it is. Finally. Probably pack this immediately. Nah, we'll be alright. Plot twist, it only makes crawlers. That would be really, really rough. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we should probably try to kill George with it at least. Smarter idea. Uh-oh. To the train area! Alright. I pissed him off. Not a good time to piss him off! Oh, he's not... Okay, he's not staying pissed. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh! Fuck a duck, man. <laughs> Let's go! Holy shiz. Oh, I just fucking nuked him! Let's go! Man, if I use this and George is right there, though, it's definitely going off. Two hits. We need to get the whole horde up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to play with George Pissed so I can not waste my scavenger ammo. But, like, at the same time, I also feel like it would be better if we just delayed into George because there's oh fuck yeah I have to use this way I right, want to play nice and slow I gotta wrap around here mistakes have been made that's all right that's all right that's all right come on baby guys come on come on come on go for a little walk Oh, that actually might kill me. Nope, we're good. Oh, is that a max ammo? Oh, this is going to be a risk. Nah, we're still good. Ooh. All right, we need to try to get back over there. Holy crap. Okay, okay, there we go. We're going to make it back one hit. That was actually really fucking good. We're going to piss him off again. We're going to reload. Cool. Man, that scavenger does so much damage. Did he just get pissed off again? Bro, chill the fuck out, man. Holy cow. Okay, so he's almost dead again, though. We should be able to kill him soon. <gasps> no, my camera didn't move. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh. 
Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we'll be alright. I am crying, dude. Oh, man. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Come on. I just gotta hit 30. Like, that's it. That's the goal for at least this today. Oh, look at all the baby crawlers. Feeling all right to do this. Reload. I think this is the last horde, so, or the last group. I feel like I've made a grave mistake in my calculations. Probably the most damage we're going to do with that turn. We have three rounds of Scavenger. We don't want to piss him off this round. Definitely. He's almost dead. Like, I bet you, I bet you, like, we could probably kill him with the Ray Gun that we have. I probably need to... Oh, fuck. That might piss him off. Nope, we're good. Oh, okay. I need to count what the fuse time uh, is. One, two, three, four. That didn't hit him. Oof. Also, being able to wipe an entire horde out with one scavenger bullet is wild. Holy crap. I wonder how long that's going to last. It's almost round 30, so I think... I wonder if we have a couple more rounds or not. Oh, it's a Tratton. How you doing, dude? I'm going to do it. We're going to take the risk. Holy crap, dude. It takes so much bullets to actually... I just... Don't hit me, don't hit me, please, for the love of God. All right, come on, baby, get over here. That's a max ammo. Oh, we died, yes! Okay, we need to get out of here. I need to just not pick the death machine up. Guaranteed kills me. Fuck it, let's do it. I got a max ammo and I got speed cola. Okay, I will take that. Speed cola is really good. Better than nothing. We need to make sure we need to really. Oh, that's two hits. That's three. That's four. Um, no, 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 no. This death machine is gonna fucking kill me. Stop. Holy cow, dude! Clenching my ass cheeks right there. Woof. Alright, we're on a roll. Alright, we're gonna try to save the entire scavenger for George. That's what I wanna do. Like, if we get a crawler when he comes back, what we do then is I can piss him off with one bullet from the AK, and then we'll go ahead and lead him to spawn and just unload into him. <laughs> nice. And that should be pretty good. Two hits. Look at them point. Look at them points. And I'm getting better at the train area. We're doing all right. I can't wait to figure out when this gray gun is ineffective. It's going to be wild. 
Oh, I gotta send a message. I'm not that worried. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I'm not going to lie. But we have like, I think we have another entire round without George. So it's nice. Oh man, Speed Cola makes the, the difference. Well, you know, the gameplay might be boring, but at least we have good music, right? That's probably the best part. Good music, good music. How's your grinding going, by the way, Velk? Probably a little safer here. Oh, let's move my phone out of the way. 30, 30, 30, round 30. Where's my ray gun? There it is. We're going to be getting a max ammo soon, I have a feeling. You know, I love when, like, people play games like this and they're like, yeah, dude, I know exactly when my next max ammo is. And then I'm just like, yeah, we'll get one soon. Guaranteed. We just got one, though, so it's going to be a minute. But we have literally two packed weapons and I have no intention on packing these soon. House items? Honestly, if you were, if you were actually watching the stream, I'd be kind of shocked. As in, like, I I genuinely don't watch content if or watch content. I like I listen. Does that make any sense? Like, isn't that like the whole point of watching stuff like this or listening? I mean, I guess like if I was doing something you were highly invested in, but I don't think you come in here for the games I play personally. All right, All right wrap this around and kill everything. Come on, baby. See you later, nerds! Let's go. Yeah, I want to make sure I don't screw up the that. Kind of doing both? I mean, dude, I'm literally running around in a circle. I, I think, like, on average, people, when they do these streams, they do, like... Cause like there's a, something called a 25 day reset, which is like a bug in the in the game itself or something, from what I understand. Where it's like the bit or the the I don't know if it's particles or and en entities. Entities is the word. Too many entities show up in the game, as in like dead parts or buyables, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's like apparently that has a 25 day limit of playtime or something like that, or give or take, and the game crashes. And the world record for this map is 105, but they said it's theoretically possible to get, uh, what do you call it? It's theoretically 109, but it blows my mind for people who actually like go for those. Like it's it's insane. And I kind of want to try to get in top 10, which would require me to get to like, I think it's around 50 or something. But just seeing how difficult this, this game is, at least in this map, I could probably do like Ascension, Kino, all those maps I could easily probably get to 80 because of how big the train area is. But I'm terrified. No window liquor? Yeah, I don't like... One of the things is, is like, 
I'm afraid to stream something like this on my other channel because I don't want to ruin the 10 to 15 viewership average that I have over there. You know what I mean? Like, I really feel like streaming something that has nothing to do with Fire Emblem would be really bad. Though two or three people from the Fire Emblem community have shown up over here, so I can't even be upset. I can't even see through that. Holy crap. How are you doing, by the way, museum? Once I lose this round, I guess we can play some Black Ops 6. Yeah, I really wish there was a way to link it. Because, like, hold on. If we pause here, right? And we pause here. Um, and I go over. I don't know. Hold on. Let me make sure this doesn't pull it. Uno momento. So, like, if we go here on YouTube, right? And we go over to, like, your profile and switch. Oh, fuck. Nope. If we switch accounts, right, you can have all your things under one email. You can have up to four accounts on one email. So, like, it blows my mind that you can't link your monetization or memberships to all of those. Because, like, if you get if you get one account monetized, I feel like you should be able to to use all the accounts on that one email, or at least with like half as many subs or you know view time or whatever. I mean, maybe I'm just tripping, but I don't know. I have so many. Ch I have two channels sitting at like five to eight hundred right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And this is the sh this is the old short channel. That's why it has so many subs. This is the channel that I uploaded every short to. And that's why we have like eight hundred subs to it. Nothing impressive. I deleted all of that. and We're kind of restarting it. So. But, like, I genuinely feel like, I don't know, I deserve it, man. I'm saying, I'm just saying. Say it. Fight me, bitch. I need George Romero to spawn. We're going to enact our strategy. Or I could play Risky, but we don't have Quick Revive anymore. No, we should probably chill with that. We're going to save a crawler when he spawns in. Oh, yeah, there he is, boys. We're going to kill him this round. We just need to make sure we're really careful. I want to grab this. Oh, this is going to get me killed 100%. I'm so fucked. I'm an idiot. We got to kill that group first. This is gonna get me killed. This is gonna get me killed. This is gonna get me killed. Fuck no. No, 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 no. Dude, the death machine falls off so hard. Like, is it? I wonder if it's double tap that really makes it effective. But like, dude, it takes like four or five shots of the death machine to actually kill things. Dude, it literally turns into more of a point grinder than anything else. What happened? You know, I I want to do a high round solo attempt on Black Ops 6 too eventually. What's for lunch? I was I was supposed to go back to work, but the uh, stuff that I was doing today with a certain thing. The fuck is this? Sega. I've never heard this song. This sounds like Sonic music. I need somebody to confirm. The end of denial. Somebody's got a... Maybe it's Mega Man? I'm gonna be real? And it's over because I got too distracted by the music. Fuck. Yeah, I haven't looked into it. <sighs> That's rough. 